ANX Condos by Free Developments Review and VIP Investment Opportunity. Hello everyone, this, this is the ANX Condos by Peter Free Developments. Free Developments at 328 uh, DuPont. Today we're going to look at this uh, development and I'm going to give you all the information you need to know about it. It's a very unique project, I really like it and that's why I'm going to review it. This is Yossi Kaplan, Travel Lisa, Asian Mortgage Broker, Research Realty, Search Mortgage and today we're going to review, review ANX Condos. All right, quick intro. Here's my Twitter, twitter.com slash Jesse Kaplan, where I post all the things that fit to post, all the things that fit to print, how to buy condos. There's a lot of uh, retweets here of uh, videos, real estate articles, news articles, anything you need to know to invest. Just scan through this Twitter and uh, you'll see what's going on. Once in a while, I add some other things. It's not real estate, but it's mostly real estate. Uh, York Real Estate Luxury.com. That's my website for the million plus in Yorkville and the article including this video and plus other information will be posted to this um, site. Okay, it's a chicken and the egg because I'm recording the video now and then after I record the video I'll include it in the article. So you'll see it here. YossiKaplan.com, it's my other site where you can find in-depth analysis of uh, assigning, investing in real estate. So I'll, sometimes I take uh, an existing video and elaborate on it even more. For example, this one here, and I kind of explain what's going on so you can read it in your own time. Okay. Uh, this is torontocondosforsale.com. That's a new site that I just launched. And this has pre construction condos, so you can actually zoom in here and look at all kinds of, um, all kinds of condos that are available. ANX, let's see if it's in the system. There you go. So ANX Condos 320 DuPont. That is the page. That's my cell number right here, ANX Condos, and they'll give you they'll give you all the basics. Okay, so ANX Condos, it's a pre-construction by free development. Uh, occupancy, you can give it three to four year, of course. And that is that is here. <coughs> you fill uh, you fill your information here, and uh, I'll send you the information. Okay, um, so let's dive into it. Uh, I want to show you. So this is this is the main image of ANX Condos. Okay. And this is coming, and this is all be available to you um, through the article and the link to the Dropbox where I post all these, including the worksheet, so you can actually look at the prices and buy it. Now, if you're on the mailing list, if you're on my mailing list, and it doesn't matter if you came through it through uh, Urban Realty Toronto or Twitter or Yorkville or any of my sites, it doesn't matter if you're on the mailing list, you'll get this information first. And then I'll send it, just to be fair, then I'll send it to everyone else. So if you're on the mailing list, you always get that information first, give you a bit of an of a understanding of what's going on, and give you an advantage over everyone else, because you deserve it, because you made the effort to sign to the list. Thank you very much. This is a beautiful, beautiful building, ANX. And I'll show you, we'll go into the map, I'll, I'll show you this brochure first, and then we'll go into the map, I'll show you exactly what it is, and I'll explain all the things you need to know about this building and why it's important to invest. So this building only has a hundred and some units, I think 105, 107 units, uh, which makes it very, very attractive, um, in my opinion. And the reason is because less units in this kind of part of town uh, means it's really, really sought after, okay? Here it is here, you can see they made an insert, okay, and then showing you a bit of the neighborhood. So the neighborhood is, it's a small neighborhood with a very high average household income. Basically, a lot of wealthy people live here. This is uh, Dupont is extension in Yorkville, so it's old money, new money, uh, beautiful building. The design center is a lot of the, de the design centers, design shops on uh, on Dupont, all here. So people come to buy expensive furniture here. People come to buy fancy cars in this area. You know, this is where you buy the Aston Martin, all these cars. Um, the the development is is making sure that we understand that there's not a lot of units actually available in the radius and this is the same thing they've done with the uh, launch Galleria if you watch the Galleria I'll review this but this is for the area and you can show you here you have a blue you have a shepherd basically they tell you that wh where you're in the area it shows you obviously if you're watching this video you probably know this already but it also shows you what's in the area how much money they make who can you find so this is really important here and I'm going to dive right into it. So the unit mix breakdown means the type of unit, the size and the front price. So you're looking at 15%, only 15% of the units are one bedroom. These are smaller quote unquote investor units. But if you watch the video that I've made of the one, two or three bedroom, you see that once we come to this $1,300 foot range, the two bedrooms actually make more sense. 
uh, more ROI sense in, in many ways. You can watch that video here on the YouTube, and then you can go, should you buy one, two, or three bedroom, this video here, and you actually analyze this. Uh, I analyze here and I show you the cost, the cost per bedroom, okay? So that's, that's this video here. I'm gonna go back here. And the two bedroom started 640 to 750. So those are compact two bedroom, but not the tiniest. They're not 500 square feet two bedroom. And that's over half of the building starting in the 800s, low 800s. So this is your target acquisition right here as an investor. It's a compact two bedroom. It's a compact two bedroom. You, when you can squeeze two people, two people have to squeeze sadly, but truly uh, in this. Now, if you're a long-term investor or you're going to live in the building, because this building is definitely designed for owner-occupied and less for investors, and you see there's larger two bedrooms, two plus then three, and three to four bedrooms, and here they come in um, from 1,200 square feet to about 2,000 square feet, and they take 30% of the building. So just under a third of the building, 30%, 30 is 33.333, so 10, 25, 30% of the building is over a million dollar, over a million one, and it's also two bedroom or larger. I really like this, because that means we're gonna have a high degree and owner occupy. So if you own anything here as an investor, um, you won't have a lot of competition. If you go to buildings which are tall and narrow and got lots and lots of small units, you're competing with every other investor in the building and around you. So if you go into a, a an area where ha which has lots of towers with four and five hundred square foot units, basically competing with you know thousands of four and five hundred square foot units all around you, um, it could be a situation where the rental market is saturated or cannot pay anymore, and then you're forced to get lower and lower rents. Here, this is not the case because there are no condos here. Uh, there's very little in terms of what you can buy or rent, and it's very very expensive. So this is an opportunity actually to invest in an amazing area, just sitting on top of Yorkville here, kind of the gate to Midtown, okay? And two bedroom in a million dollar range makes sense here because you can get this two bedroom, one million dollar range elsewhere, but with much more competition. And here there's almost nothing to compete with you. Um, now, if I remember correctly in presentation, they said there'll be other buildings around. Uh, I don't know if they're residential, commercial, I have to check for you, but. Even the, the 485, you see there's only two of these here. The kitchen is at the back. That's good. When you get the kitchen at the front, the up here, don't buy it, okay? Because you can't sit there in your room watching your kitchen all day long. Let someone else buy it. There's even a better unit here where the kitchen is tucked here. And that, that, that's a very good design facing south. That's nice, facing south to DuPont. That's really nice, okay? Um, here you get your two bedroom. That's your fr first two bedroom. Now he does have a full two baths, so you can see here. One will have the stand-up shower, one will have the bath. Um, it's amazing how the masters usually get the stand-up, but the bath is outside. I would do it the other way around maybe, because if you want to have a nice bath, you don't want to walk around in your room, but that's how they do it. Maybe they're thinking, well, you know, it's like just jump into the shower and if I want to do... Anyway, it's a small unit, but uh, we're lucky to be able to argue about these little things. And there are six of these units you can see on level two and three. Uh, as you come up the levels, so here you can see the floor plates for the higher levels, um, the building changes. And what you had here is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units facing south. Now we got one, two, three, four, five less. Why? Because the size is increasing. So that's very, very smart. And a lot of developers make the mistake of putting small units at the top. That's a big, big mistake for a developer. Um, you're hitting your ROI, you're giving a gift to the investor, which is really nice, but you can do better as a developer. Now, this developer is very experienced, Peter Fried. I've known him, I've met him, great guy, and we wish him luck and his team. It's a massive team behind this. This is a beautiful two-bedroom. It's a classic two-bedroom, 730. The bedrooms are separate. You see, the designs are very good. This makes a lot of sense to me as an investment unit, and there's five of those right here. That's a good investment unit. <clears throat> Here we're going to a larger uh, two bed, so this will be more of a unit for someone to live in. Or if you have, you know, extra, this will probably be 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 million. Um, large unit, there's only two of these in the building. So there's, there's, there's a format of scarcity here. There's a factor of scarcity. But the unit, this unit is perfect, okay? Just under a thousand square feet, nice and wide living, kitchen at the back. It's very simple and straight up. That's what you want. Uh, luxury collection. 
Okay, this is a really, really sweet 1270 square feet, uh, north facing, three bedroom, quite spacious. You come in here, kitchen at the back, you got your living, and there's a glass to the balcony. You can see it here. You can really separate the eating, cooking activities from the living, uh, from the living dining activities, which is really nice. But you can only do this once you have the size which you do here. Okay. Now you have one suite completely separated here, another suite almost separated here, another suite almost separated here. So they'll be really nice for family. Um, be nice for a couple with a child or two. It'd be nice for someone who needs to be in town and needs some space and, and can afford it. That's really, really good. And in the grand scheme of things, these are not that expensive actually because you can go downtown and pay now fifteen, sixteen, two thousand dollar a foot. So this unit will cost you, you know, two point five, two point six million at two thousand a foot. So you're gonna get a huge discount here. But a very unique building. Here's the penthouse collection. You can expect the dollars per foot will be higher here. And the ceiling height it doesn't say, but it should be higher. It usually is. Um, and here you have a unit. It's a three bedroom, and you can see it appears uh, twice on the 12th and the 13th level. Exterior 1705, interior 1705. That's very large, and the exterior 95. A smaller balcony on the 12th floor, and slightly larger balcony on the 13th floor. Okay, and they're not afraid of doing a 13th floor here. It's clearly not, uh, they're not afraid of, of the number 13, and I think four exists there too. You know, it's, it's, it's your typical good quality building. Maybe atypical if it's good quality, but you can see here, what I like here is the entire width of the unit is dedicated to the living dining room. Now, in this case, the kitchen is on the side, but it's totally fine because it's so wide. It's so wide. They could also put the kitchen here, okay, but I can see why they tucked it on the side and you can have all these space free. So that, that's good design. The master is back to you and it's really got its own complete area. It's very quiet. And these two bedrooms could be kids' bedroom, uh, granny, granny suite, nanny suite. That's exactly what it is. Okay. Uh, here's another penthouse. That's uh, <clears throat> 1945 in interior, so almost 2,000 square feet. Similar design, I think slightly wider. Slightly wider here, absolutely. Okay, uh, the balcony size is the same, but the interior size is about, about uh, 240 square feet larger. So that, that's quite a bit. Okay, here is a gorgeous, gorgeous render. So this is the building, it says A and X here. Okay, right here, that's DuPont Station, so right by the subway. Uh, we're looking south here. Um, George Brown, Casa Loma. So this is if you ever came up uh, those little streets by George Brown, you see that Casa Loma. Uh, these are the uh, the townhouses, and this is the the Casa itself. Okay, you got a huge Loblaws right here. Phenomenal location, absolutely phenomenal. Yorkville's right here, and Fred's got more stuff in the area coming. Um, it's a lobby render of the lobby. Very very nice. Uh, only 103 suites, um, only 30% 30, 30 of the suites, less than a third of the suites are small. So more of a owner-occupied building, longer term, it means less units, changing hands, much higher value um, for your resale and for your rentals because it's, it's, it's supply and demand. The, uh, there's not a lot of supply here and I, 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 I'm absolutely sure living in the city for almost 30 years the demand will be excellent for this area. Um, here's a render you can see here, living dining. So that's one of these large uh, areas where you can see the kitchen is on the side, but it's totally fine because it's so large here, so wide that it's separating from the dining area to the living hangout area right here. Also very nice renders. Okay, built-in kitchen, of course, all the bells and whistles. Uh, here's another idea of living dining, there'll be a smaller unit, kitchen on the back, they're using more of a natural color for this render, more of a white, gray and white for this one, all very natural, very nice, very calm, very, very calm, look at this, this is a Pena suite, so those are the 1945, or maybe the other one, similar idea, just much, much larger, and obviously enough room to host a bunch of people working here, living, working, doing their thing. This is the bathroom. It's showing complete tiles everywhere, which is really nice. 
very, very proper. Okay, here's a fitness center. I like the touches of the wood and the planks and the window uh, treatment. Super. Calm, calm, calm. And of course, we have a beautiful rooftop pool overlooking the city. What's best, what's better than to sit there and see the city in front of you? And this is facing south, so you'll get a lot of sunlight and you have beautiful sunsets. Okay, fixtures and finishes. Approximately nine foot smooth pane ceiling, floor to ceiling windows, cap junction boxes. Everything you need to know the penthouses. Uh, 10 foot ceilings on level 12 and 11 foot ceiling on level 13. I think if you can afford a penthouse in this building, that's something you should really consider uh, because there's just so few of those and it's such a good offer. Okay, uh, some smart living stuff. Uh, here is your deposits, incentives. That's for the VIP. Okay, so please. Uh, get at me before you contact anyone and I'll tell you what the current incentive but right now you're looking at 5% in 2019 10 in 2020 and 5 in 2021 um, and the way it looks is 5,000 on signing 5% less than 5,000 in 30 days so 5% in the first 30 days then a 5% in 120 for the VIP 5% in 400 days which takes you uh, just a year and over from now and another 5% in about two years, which is which is very good, okay? Addition incentives, uh, they're gonna cap the development charge at 16 for their one bedroom or 19 for their larger ones. And the parking is at 75, which is still reasonable considering 100 or even more I've seen uh, just down the street. Right to lease during occupancy, that applies mostly for the small unit buyers that they buy units to rent out, they don't intend on living there. So if they're gonna rent them out, they wanna lease them and we don't know how long the building's going to take to close because of the whole occupancy thing in Ontario, so you can lease them. And a free assignment. That's great. Our general information is to be occupancy fall 20, 2023. Um, you know, it's not such a huge building to build, um, but when you see these dates, always add 6 or 12 months just to be safe so you can calculate properly. Maintenance, 69 cents a foot. And locker is 6,500, which is really cheap. Okay. Uh, what else we got here? Agent launch. Okay. So we have launched this building and the sale is on now. If you can put your hands on a penthouse in this building, I think you'll do phenomenally, phenomenally well. You know, if you double your purchase price, you're looking at $2 million profit on investment of 400000 the 20% is five times, 500%. So these, these, are, these are possible. These are very, very possible, especially in today's market. Okay, but you got to do it right. Um, on a smaller unit, ask me if they're available, but these are great investment opportunities. I would actually go and grab a two-bedroom, if you can, if you're looking, a two-bedroom. I mean, this is this phenomenal. I love this. This design is absolutely perfect. This design is even better. But those are more of a long-term investment. Nonetheless, there's not too many of these. So if you can find a good two-bedroom these days at a good area, for twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollar foot, I think it could be much better than a four hundred square feet unit, where you're surrounded with hundreds and hundreds of more four hundred square feet units of the same style. Mind you, you're looking at these two bedrooms. You know they'll cost you probably one point two, one point three million. So that's a lot. That's why there's also room uh, for the small, cheaper units. Okay, but they're going to become harder to flip. So. This here, in my opinion, is a very good possibility for you, especially if you're looking to invest in the, say, 800 to $2 million range. This will be right on my radar. Only 105 units, 13 stories, right in the annex, DuPont. Very nice. What else I got for you here? That's another brochure. So here's the brochure here that gives you another idea. And if you see here, when the street turns, that is exactly here. So if we go to satellite and then we hit the 3D. So this, this particular area here is what we're looking at. So here, the building will sit right here where these white buildings are. Uh, this could be also, so all the homes could be also part of the project. I'm not sure. I'll have to like be on the ground to tell you, but uh, I think it's coming right here, replacing all these here. Okay. It's probably an assembly. Assembly. Lands put together. 
Okay, now, uh, zoom out here. So this is the building, 328 DuPont, and just that so you see, this is DuPont subway station right here. Okay, this area is going to change a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, it was kind of a, almost like an industrial area, you know, the train tracks run there, which is fine with me. Um, you know, years ago, on the McPherson side, right here, I remember uh, selling these condos right here. There's a bunch of uh, larger units on 380 McPherson. I don't know if they'll show up on Google. It should be here. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, nonetheless, when I go back to where I am, you'll see what I mean. So I'll just focus right back. So these are the townhomes for Casa Loma. Here is the Casa itself. Okay. Um, it's Bathurst Street. There's U of T. There's the Annex. Very, very wealthy area. Maybe the wealthiest area of the downtown. South Hill, okay. That's super. That's St. Clair up here. We're right in the middle of everything. I, I really like this. I think this is this is a phenomenal opportunity here. Okay, what else I got for you here? Uh, I showed you this. I showed you everything here. I want to go over a few a few more items. So the design of the building is very unique. It's, it's a bit like a 70s style. You know, they got the round thing. Even on the flyers, they have the round thing. Um, and if you notice in the interior design, they also use kind of a Swedish uh, style art um, furniture. And the treatments is very, very nice. Very, very nice treatment. That's not cheap, the round glass. Okay, and it's, it's a very, very nice mix of round and square. It's breaking the mold. It's making it very nice. You can see the concierge right at the front. The design here is superb. Um, and that should be, you know, that's a designer area of Toronto. Where all the designers are coming. You can see here, that's a building that will be, I think that's a commercial building come here. On the rest, pretty sure the old houses will be gone. That is very nice. Yeah, so that's a commercial part here. Okay, super. So any of these balconies here, any of these balconies on the back side would be just phenomenal. Beautiful lobby. Beautiful gym. Nice, nice units. Good design. Good design. This is all about design. You know, when, when the Freed started 20 years ago, their design, they call themselves uh, design-based uh, development, something like that. <clears throat> and they've kept it up, and they've learned a lot. And I think they've every project they've released, they've improved and improved and improved. And it's really nice to see a homegrown developer uh, coming and changing the city, modifying the city, adding so much uh, design elements to the city and pushing the envelope further and further, providing value for the investors, but also pushing other developers in the city to improve because everyone's looking up to you. That means that your values are really good. That means your resale value is really good. And if people want to be like you or talking about you, that's a really good sign. So I think this is the situation here. Very, very nice. Okay. So that's the ANX. Um, price is going like this. One bedroom from the low 600s. Two bedroom for the low 800s. Uh, the larger two bedrooms from the 1.1. There are two plus then to the large units, 1.7 says to four bedroom, and three or four mid twos. Okay, the the um, platinum extended deposit structure I showed you, cap development we talked about, 1619, uh, parking at 75, right to lease occupancy for assignment. There's probably some uh, legal fee on top. Um, occupancy give it three or four years. Maintenance 69 cents reported. I like to always add 10 to 20% of that just to kind of know where I'm going to be at. So that's it. That that repeats already. I already put this here and here. So this is the Freed ANX, Yossi Kaplan. I think this is a fantastic opportunity for you to consider 
if you are looking to make an investment of seven, eight hundred thousand, a million, two million, this, this is a really good place to look into it, okay? The location is phenomenal. The developer has matured and is delivering. This is the same developer from Galleria Mall. This is the same developer from Thompson. It's serious stuff, okay? So this location speaks volume. The fact is only 103 units and the unit mix that I showed you Whatever that was, I lost the, the marker. But the unit mix is very, very good. That means that it's just not a lot of uh, units there, and most of them are larger. So you're looking at, in my opinion, a potentiality of very, very high returns on rents and on resale for years to come. Quality product that not everyone can have, and you just can't add more. That's scarcity. There you go. Yossi Kaplan, ANX. Call me for current prices, incentives, what's available. I'll help you out. That's it for today. Thank you very much.